Florida is built on a carbonate platform. It's like it's it's not it's connected to the the continent, but it's very similar to what we see in the Bahamas. Carbonate platforms are built by calcium carbonate. Uh, the organisms use calcium carbonate from upwellings and such to build their structure, and their structure is incorporated into the the whole deposit that's forming the platform. And so when those things, during the last glaciation, the sea level dropped about 200 meters. Mm -hmm. So it took all that platform and exposed it. And calcium carbonate is readily dissolved by fresh water. Mm -hmm. And so we had fresh water moving through the, uh, the platform it was dissolving out calcium carbonate, going down through fractures and such, and creating caves. And the sinkholes that we see, uh, which pop up every so often, those sinkholes are the result of, of uh, dissolution of the calcium carbonate. Oh, it has nothing to do with climate change in that regard. That now that the sea level has risen, a lot of those deeper caves have been filled with water. A lot of research has gone on in the Bahamas in this regard to, uh, to look at the impact of sea level rise relative to cave formation. And they've, they've got caves where you're 200 meters, 150 meters below the, the, the present day sea surface and they're finding uh, artifacts from humans. They're finding the remains of, of crocodiles and monkeys and, and what have you. We just have such a, a complex system to investigate and most researchers are rather focused. They, they don't do an, an all-encompassing general view of something. They become focused on a particular uh, point of interest mm -hmm. and so that's where their results come in. We, we still are trying to put together two and two to understand how our climate is influenced by the sun, is influenced by our relationship to the sun, is influenced by the tremendous activity within the earth itself. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. Join us for Climate Conversations.